Good morning, folks. Today we've got a major update in modern catastrophism. It's not good news, but it's a necessary study to complete a bigger picture. You're watching a wiggling set of plasma filament tendrils cresting into view as we begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star very quiet. No big flares or CMEs, plenty of coronal motions and smaller filament reorganizations, obviously sizable coronal hole facing Earth whose solar wind is expected to arrive tomorrow or Saturday. As of now, all is calm. Just want to remind everyone that while increased snow is possible in a little window of global warming, this repeated record cold month after month, year after year, has no quarter in the anthropogenic blame game. This is the other half of the story, and they honestly are just hoping you don't notice. Interesting that many areas are breaking records set in just the last couple of years. Fantastic review here of some of the basics in the solar forcing of the thermosphere and ionosphere realm. If anyone recalls our four-part mini-series on climate last year, this one's going to read like a quick recap of parts one and four, and at the bottom. Yeah, that special issue they're doing on the sun, earth, weather, and health is pretty good too. Now folks, preceding our top story is a reminder of the chart from the Christmas Day disaster documentary detailing the changes on earth, in the solar system, and the nearby stars. The changes on the sun and interplanetary space are in focus today as the increase of dust in the inner system in the sun's upper atmosphere is confirmed via a 25-year study of the outermost region, the F corona. This is where the primary steady brightness comes from dust particles in the inner system, and while nobody in the world could notice it with their eyes, there is a distinct brightening or increase in radiance of the F corona steadily charging forward at about half a percent a year. This has happened steadily throughout sunspot cycles and continues onward now. This is increased radiance and it's caused by more dust, reflecting more light. And as we've said, the comet driven dust should have stabilized in the system millions of years ago and should be decreasing. This slow, steady increase is coming with the galactic current sheet and it completes the confirmations of the arrival and increasing prevalence of the dust. Folks, it is my son Noah's birthday today. Over at our bookstore, we have the Kira and Lulu book with Noah's debut on sale. If you didn't know, our children's books are absolutely beloved by the little ones. Snag one or all three today, and happy birthday to my first son. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.